Tea bar gum, Yorkie kid here. Carmen from Wild West of Yorkshire. All my in laws are out laws and I've got 40 headed cattle. So we're off back to Wasteland 3. Up in Arizona. That's actually Colorado from Arizona. Some more ranger action. A bit uh, risky at times as this, I'll tell thee. I only just survived a bloody fight. Any road. I'd like to get him back, but we can't do that. We're after, you know, sorting stuff, some stuff out. We can't get him back. But, got big trouble in Little Vegas, and we need to go confront McTavish. We couldn't get him back, so we've got to go, we were told to go confront McTavish in Machine Shop. Because according to Charlie Knows, the real traitor is one of Brygo's thugs, a guy named McTavish. If we can get McTavish to admit that he acted alone, that will clear Brygo. Resolve this whole thing peacefully. They'll find McTavish. In chop. He will. Where are we? Oh, we're upstairs. We, we, hang on, we went upstairs. Let's see what he's got to say for himself, shall we? I heard you were in town. It must be, what, 20 years since we crossed paths. Uh, not that any of you would remember that, of course. You were probably just kids when Vargas and... Don't Andrew know about that. Dead, ...and the rest helped me save Vegas. I wouldn't have been, but Gunsmoke and Lasso would. And I hear we have you to thank about Cassidy's fine clothes being back in business. My couples and I thank you. If not for Cassidy's, we'd have to settle for second-range suits from the bazaar. Aye, we do good, we do. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Farron Brago. Welcome to Little Vegas. My recreation of the glories of the town we lost. That's Vegas. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah, but Las Vegas and Nevada. Although there are other Las Vegas. There's Las Vegas here in New Mexico. I wouldn't want to go there. It's a piece of crap to, to tiny town, I think. Uh, anyway, you know Angela Death and, the, and General Vargas? You haven't heard the story? Hey, <laughs> I'll never forget it. Twenty years ago, Vegas was being overrun by robots. A nightmare. Then Angie and Snake and their squad showed up guns a blazing and saved the day. Heroes, every one of them. Helped me consolidate control of the city, too. Aye. Of course, 15 years later, the robots came back and destroyed everything. But you know all about that. They attacked you, too. Aye, they did. Anyway, that shared history makes me happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. You're getting a lot of class. Cheers. I'm glad you think so. You should have seen it five years ago. Nothing here but the walls, and half of them were falling down. We really worked hard to get where it is today. But enough about me. How are things with the Rangers? Is uh, General Vargas still in charge? I'd love to give him my regards. We owe him and his team a lot. All right, I say your man Vargas is stiffed out, but uh, yeah, sacrifice saved all Valley's honor. Damn, I'd heard rumors, but well, I'm not surprised that's the way he went out. A hero to the end. Ah, well. Thank you for telling me. I'll raise a glass in his honor tonight. Now, what can I do for you? What's that painting behind the... Ah, yes. Had that painted for my office back in Vegas. Before the robots came. Not a bad likeness, eh? Yeah, not bad. That paint was commissioned before the robots came. That's 20 years ago. How is it you don't look a day older? Thank you, Rangers. That's very flattering. But really, it's not so much that I have an age, but more that the cares and woes of running Vegas back then made me old before my time. Since I've come to Colorado, I feel 20 years younger. Fair enough. Why did you come to Colorado, though? Like I said, 
Fifteen years after the Rangers saved us, the robots uh. came back. Deadlier than before. We held out as long as we could. But without help from the Rangers, the end was inevitable. Well, that'll do it. As to why we came to Colorado? Well, we heard some rumors of the good work the Patriarch was doing out here. Creating a stable, prosperous society. That's exactly the kind of environment a business like mine needs to flourish. So we packed up our roulette tables and hit the road. Well, we got it stable, but I'm not sure how prosperous society is yet. We'll have to see. Tell us about Little Vegas, why don't they? Ah, uh, I know any attempt to recapture the past is doomed to failure. But I had to try. It's not quite Vegas, but it's close. And since I can't go back, this will have to do, won't it? Does the Nova's got an half-naked guard with a gun on her back? I mean, let's let's go on. And besides, the customers don't know it's a pale imitation. To them, this is paradise. All of Sin City behind one door. No, seriously, she's doing some kind of twerking and dancing and stuff with a gun strapped to her back. Are you not being a... T Never mind, go on. Alright, so... We're helping the marshals with an investigation. Could you answer some questions? Certainly. Ask away. See what he's got to say, things then. Somebody told us McTavish let the Dorses into the city. He works for you, right? He does our jobs for me. But he's his own man. He has his own business. I don't keep tabs on him, if that's what you're asking. If he's the one who let in the Dorses, then do what you need to do. Bastard's a traitor. All right. That's all for now. Let's let's head out of here. And she's gone up. One smoke's up. Right, attributes. They damage. No. Let's have a bit more speed, I reckon. And then we got. They need to do points in armor whisperer to get a cat at least. Put a point in armor mod in. Right, let's head out then. Recipe discovered, tactical load. Right. Ah, oh, man, I love dancing in this place. It's the best. But I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up in Aspen every year. I'm for sure going to be right this year. I've never been to Aspen. Right, up there. We're going here. I think we'll get lost. Oh, oh, that's a lot. Oh my that's God. a lot gone. Tell me everything. Need to want to be a better lock pick than we got, so never mind. Oh man, I love dancing in this place. <laughs> it's the best. But I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up at Aspen every year. Right, then I reckon we're off after uh, McDavish. Big sound of it. Ah, uh, team member, come in. Go ahead. Yeah, I got Ms. Wong, the manager at the Sands Lux Apartments on the line. And this one might actually be something. Says she's got a tenant who might be making bombs in... Yeah, that could be useful. Shush, shush, shush. Let me talk to them. You're leaving out important <laughs> details. Oh, we got a cannon. All right, Rosie, come on. Uh... It's the weirdo in apartment three. He's gonna kill us all. There's all kinds of loud banging coming from his room. And he's not alone. He's got friends in there. They're planning something. I know it. Now, what's wrong with some, rape banging, uh, some loud banging? 
Very greatly, uh, lady, or, or, or fella, depending on your style, it, it can be fun. Uh, have you tried calling the marshals? Downtown is their territory. Do you think I would have called you if the marshals had listened to me? They say I call too much. Goddamn lazy good for nothing. Maybe there was nothing going on those other times, but this one's real. I'm sure <laughs> of it. Hmm. We got a Karen. Come to the Sands Lux Apartments now. That loony's liable to blow the whole place sky high. Uh, sorry, November. Over and out. Huh? What do you mean by sorry? They mean you're a Karen and no one wants to bloody listen to you, but we've we've got it now. All right. Well, we go to the Sands Lux. What snow pile for? Snow drift is just the right balance of density and wetness to pack snowballs. Yeah, we're not going to bother with snowballs. That sounds looks. I don't want to go down there right now. I want to get a kitty first. It was all Joe's fault. Old security drone. Its timing belt broke, so it, uh, went great. You get drummed out in a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. We got a kitty cat not anywhere. I know we had. Where's the ruddy thing got to? Did you just Rangers give me a... Rangers as heroes. Hickey? Dorothy's flee the city. Hang on. Oh, that was his pants. I thought I saw a brown cat. There's a kitty cat. The young guard's face is nervous but determined. He steps forward as you approach, holding up his arm. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. But what kind of authorization do we need? An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Why is the gate closed? Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized yeah. business only. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. What's through the gate, though? Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Clearly, feel the job does not include ex uh, expansive descriptions. All right, well, Today. we'll catch up later. Meanwhile, I saw a kitty cat somewhere. Where'd it bloody go to? Hostages oh, murdered by Dorsey Fox. Weston family confirmed dead. Extra, extra bloody shootout in Garden of the Gods. Oh, that's that's our that's our pulpa. Where'd bloody cat go? Did you just give me a hickey? Yeah, he did. Rangers hailed as heroes. Dorsey's flee the city. Where's the ruddy cat? Hey, hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. By Dorsey thugs. Weston family confirmed dead. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Not finding cats, are we? What about three of them walking down, won't we? What do you think they do hey, with none the of them now. I heard they got a mass grave just outside the walls. I don't know, man. I swear the last shipment of meat from the bazaar. Extra, is extra, bloody fun. shootout in Garden of the Gods. There we are. Hey, we got one with the cat. One with the dog. Nah. We're off down here, aren't we? Yeah, Sam looks right over here. Get a move on the lot, aye. That's two. Yeah, this is the Sands Lock Apartments. Who's there? The Desert Range, see Mrs. Wong. What? 
Yeah, we're coming in. Come in. Come in. We're trying to. Oh, yeah. That's good. The finest budget accommodation. Finest and budget tend not to go together too good. Rosie Wong is waiting for you when you enter, smoking a cigarette. She smiles when she sees you. Her teeth have the colour of car uh, caramel corn. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant is what I am. A-N-T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers. Because I got a situation here. What's your problem with marshals? <laughs> They're bought and paid for. Sure as hell never help ordinary citizens, let me tell you. Don't about that. Unless you pay them extra. But I never pay anybody until they earn it. Why don't Marshall think you're a pest? I'm kind of getting the idea. Why do you think you're a pest, Karen? I mean, Rosie. Because I ask them to do their job. They hate that, the lazy, fat-ass carbuncles. If they never did a lick of work in their lives, it would be too much for them. Ugh. So what's trouble anyway? The guy in room three, Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one's fine with me. All right, well, let's go then. Have you looked in the room at all? I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Hey, what last one? Apartment room three, end of the long hallway. The door's on the right. I know he's up to something. I just know. This place is making my allergies act up. That's apartment one. Let's have a look in there first. Well, the broken uh, thingy there. We'll get that loot. Can we get in door? Oh, it requires power and we can't fix that thing. Right, apartment two. Fuck off. Oh. Frank Pappas, who are you? Huh? Get the fuck out of my apartment. Who the bloody hell do you think you are? I've put a gun in your in your face and don't watch it. Yeah. Oh, there's no in there anyway. Apartment six. Can't get in there. Apartment five. There's a box there, a booze box. Junk pile. Let's see, it's but this is just a door, probably a bad one. Only we have a pump, but a toaster. Why would I want toaster? What do they do? Right, well. We're heading into apartment three, aren't we? Oh, hang on, there's a box here. Eat pies out and make them from scratch. Uh, we can't get into apartment three. We need a bloody key or something. What's the matter? Why haven't you gone in yet? Are you chickens like them, Marshall? Kick down that door! Robot. Same predator. Oh, that's, that's interesting. It don't look like we can do nothing there. Home again, juggerty juggerty jug.
Can't do nothing without uh, better than a lock picking, so I guess we're not in there. Right, well, there you go. Right. I mean, listen to that. Let's just have another word. We can see she's got anything else to say. What's the matter? Why haven't you gone in yet? Kick down that door. She doesn't. Get him an apartment raid for the uh, Ranger Falls. That's all good. No one will object to that. I don't live any road up. Ranger HQ calling Team November. Come in. Yeah. Yeah, um, listen. While we were going through the base, we found some refugees squatting in the barracks. And uh, they're refusing to leave and want to speak to whoever's in charge. Which would be you. Can you come back and sort this out when you have a chance? Getting a little tense here. Yeah, gotta wrap some stuff up first. Understood. See you when you get here. RHQ out. Get our sends down here and go into the machine shop. time the marshal sent substitutes to shake us down. Well, you stand-ins get one warning. Fuck off or get fucked up. That ain't nice. We only want to talk to McTavish. Yeah? Well, McTavish doesn't want to talk to you. And you just used up your one warning. Fuck him up, boys. Alright, well, that might have been a mistake on your part. Oh. Bloody Nora. That's gonna hurt. Two, two, here comes the pain train. Up a peak and then get down. Who's your Wesson?
Dog's almost down. Do that. Dog's down. So he's down. They might be about to go down north. That would not the damage, that's something. He might. You wanna talk shop? It's a bot, isn't it? Need to level five. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I need to bring him back round, but that's okay. To make this work, that's not a problem. Well, that's an explosive battle, that's a mistake. Stay down. For that scum. you miss No, could do with a bit of healing. Let's have a look, you. I'm saying that. Oh. Uh, uh, you could also use. The door back there. Oh, we can't do nothing with that. Could use another kitty cat. I don't know if we're going to find one though. That might have been the last one we had in the city. Intercom is caked in grime. It hasn't been cleaned in years. I'm a guess. I say I chose a shot, my boys. Well, I'm not looking for a bullet in the face, so you can fuck right the hell off. Come on, McTowish, don't make us break door down. You survived the dirty ambush, you killed Isaac Reed and his rich kid pals, you're bloody ruthless. That's us. Bollocks. I'm screwed. Yeah, you are. Screwed like a light bulb in a socket. Ah, uh, you seem to know a lot about what happened to us. You say, help set us up. What? No. I don't know what I did with that. I just, uh, I just heard about it. Oh, okay. Not convinced. We have some information you've been working for the Dorses. What? Don't talk pish. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Leave me alone. But you know, I'm under Farm Brago's protection. You can't touch me, pal. Yeah, you're not, though. That's the thing. Hey, let's hope we shoot you now. Brago's going to jump out of nowhere and stop our bullets. I see that. Huh? No, I mean, if you shoot me, then he's going to... Gonna... Gonna what, mate? Ah, fuck all of this shit. This ain't fair. Everybody shits on me, everybody. Okay, okay. 
Looks like you got me at a disadvantage, so let's make a deal, eh? You push fuck drop me enough to skip tune, and I'll tell you what I can. About what? Yeah, no. That talking, we do you like we did your boys. And uh, down in the hell! I got too many holes in me already. Fine, I'll spill monkey desert trash. We're not paying anyone who will get our people killed. Okay, yeah. I let the doses in the city, and I'm glad I did. Least I could do after the patriarch put me in the parties. I saw through my bloody face off. I got a clear one, and no shouldn't be. Of course, I wanted some revenge. Me and you. What did you do to deserve permanent disfiguration? I know, right? No, no, we're asking, you dap bugger. What is it you did? Oh, well, I was buying some wholesale medicine for a guy's E when all of a sudden the marshal jumped out and over and grabbed me. See, I'm buying me in tent to sell or some shit. So you're a drug peddler? I try to tell him, I'm not selling it. I'm getting a while with every purchase of an oil change at my shop, but the barbacks can't kind of see the difference. So they dragged me off to the pillories. I mean, I'm bursted for charity, I ask you. Free drugs, expensive oil change. Yeah, we've seen that scam before. 99% sure those guys took me out by and sold it themselves too. Fucking marshals, they should stay right inside the law. You think the marshals are corrupt? <laughs> are you kidding me? There's a bear shot in the woods. Of course the marshals are corrupt. They work for the Patriarch, won't they? And he's the most corrupt tally wash of them are. Mm -hmm. You think he's the great feather who takes care of the people of Colorado? That does shite. He takes care of the people who take care of him. That's it. And the rest of us peons are just here to keep the machines running. That's why I ended up working for Brego. And he's a creep too, but he doesn't pretend he's not. No, no like some people I could name. What the old kind of accent is that, you fake ass Scottish nonsense? Ah, it's, it's Scottish! I'm Scottish! Tea! Scottish plate, Scottish logo, everything Scottish! The McTavishes were the kings of Scotland once she came. Look, you bugger, if you were Scottish, you'd call it tart and not played. That's uh, Scottish. Sounds like you're eating a stock. I ain't reading Scottish. I learned it from a radio brain fire when I was right there when they made Scotland. It's going to be right. Cause the fun to take in a bunch of cars, so it could be a wee bit warped. So to get the wind jump patriarch, you let the Dorsey's pillage your town and murder dozens of innocent civ civilians and our people. Uh, I didn't know that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to kill the cannon. Did Brago have anything to do with Dorsey attack? But, no, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Brago had nothing to do with nothing. Okay, we've heard enough. What are you going to do with me? What folks want you dead? Everything. Custody, you hoos! Then I'll tell you what you want to know, you fucking love it all the same! Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. We've arrest McTavish. Dispatch your ranger team and bring him in. Copy that, Team November. Arrest team from HQ is en route. Good. I don't trust marshals anymore. Another ammo box. Medical crate. See what's in lockers. <coughs> the name's Mac Tavish, and I'm from Glasgow way. No, you ain't. Shit, that's not it. Look, me, Bobber. Sword af, ye wee. Cunts, go on, boil your heat, you jelly kid. I have a face like a slurp there, said the bar. Aye, that'll do. Aye, it didn't, did it now? Right. This place has gone to dogs. 
Not that one though, has it? Right, let's have a look in here, see if there's out else. Ah, there's a container over there. The egg cash. Looks like we got everything we need. Don't need that. Come from McTavish, done that. Negotiate. Right, out we go. Yeah, let's get this guy. We really need to up our uh, lock picking ability, don't we? If we if we can get that done. XP is bloody close. Be nice if you could mouse over map like that, but you can't, so that's life in it. And we're facing wrong way. Turn them round. Walk back. Up here. Up here. Oh, we're, we're in the wrong place, aren't we? <coughs> hmm. This way, no, no, no. Up here. Up here. And uh, up here. Alright, we're in, we're in right all now. We're in right all now. Let's get over there. Popping a little bit, let's go upstairs. Have a word with uh, Drago. See about getting Delgado. Well, might be a good addition. Oh, oh, there, Red Hats. What's the rush, huh? Why don't you tell your old pal Charlie what you found out from McTavish? Why'd I do that? I mean, your business, really. We're off to talk to Drago. Oh, all right, yeah. Fair enough. He should be the guy you talk to anyway. If you got good news for him, I'm sure he'll be open to a deal. So, uh, what'd you do to that poor bastard McTavish? I go look and find out. Now, why would you be like that to your good pal, Charlie? You ain't been a good pal, have you? All right, all right. I'll head to the machine shop and clear up any mess you left. Nothing but a favor between friends. You should go on upstairs and talk to Mr. Brygo. Yeah, I know. That's where I was going. See you later, Red Hats. Oh, I, I love dancing in this place. Much as <laughs> oh, I get the feeling this isn't a social call. It looks like you were right about McTavish. I assure you, I'm as appalled as you are. Letting the Dorseys into the city because he was angry with the Patriarch was like cutting off his nose to spite <laughs> his face. Something like that. What do you want to Good talk joke. To about? Now, do you know what McTavish told us? In my profession, you can't be too trusting with new friends. I uh, had you follow. It won't happen again. Yeah, I don't believe that for a 
the start. Oh, no, no. Uh, for a new to McTavish, ordering him not to rob the dorses. That means you knew his plan. What Daisy would do with that info? Is that a threat? Are you suggesting some kind of deal? I'm not admitting I know anything about Delgado, but what did you have in mind? And over Delgado, tell Daisy it was all misunderstanding. We'll also tell him McTavish acted on his own. Hmm, I like that. Keeps Daisy out of my business and takes care of a problem I didn't want in the first place. All right, you got a deal. You can take Delgado. I'll tell my crew to let you in the back. And I tell you what, because you've been so reasonable, I'll do you one more favor. A little bird told me you need to staff the armory at your HQ. Well, I just so happen to know a few guys who know about guns. Consider it staffed. What do you say? Last question. Why did you grab Delgado in the first place? It made more sense just to sto uh, stonewall and send him on his way. You're right. But I'm not the one who grabbed him. Charlie did. The idiot. Oh, that Billock. Yeah, we've met him. Bad. What was I going to do? Tell him no hard feelings and let him walk? Daisy would have been busting down my doors within the hour. So I just kept him on ice, hoping a solution would come along and. Voila! He did. Where your solution, Eric? I hope it did. Depends on if you're going to set my offer or not. So? Okay, yeah, give us Delgado and send your crew to HQ and we have a deal. Fantastic. Delgado's in the back. My crew will let you through. And you'll have a fully staffed armory by the time you get back to your headquarters. Pleasure doing business with you, Rangers. Feels like old times. Yeah, he's a crook, but I'm not convinced that uh, Daisy and that lot aren't either. So, I ain't too worried about helping him. What a surprise to see you here, Rangers. Well, it's especially surprising because I figured you'd be coming out of Brigo's suite with him in chains or a bullet hole in his head. But no, what's a damsel like me to think? We've looked the other way long enough. First, Brigo helps out the Dorseys. Then, he locks up a marshal. Your law keepers, right? Like us? It's time to uphold the law. If you're not willing to do that much... Marshal Lupinski, I stand by these people. So if you plan to shoot them, you'll have to shoot me too. <laughs> I think you know how that'll go over with the families. Doesn't need to come to that, Miss Wesson. If your friends here make the right choice. So, how about it, Rangers? You wouldn't want to get the little lady hurt, would you? Not oh, any found traitor. McTavish, not Brigo. Maybe. Or maybe Brigo sweet talked his way out of trouble. We've all seen that happen before. Last chance, Rangers. One way or another, there's gonna be blood. So whose side are you on? You really want to piss off the sheriff? For the sake of that rat, Brigo? Sorry, Lipinski, if you want Brigo, you'll have to go through us. He's done us more good than you lot have. <laughs> you know, I was hoping you'd say that.
about to get dropped. <laughs> Oh, that sucked big ones. We all done. Get that. We got some problem stuff going on. Friendly turn. He sits.
We got some stuff going down. We're a bit tricky, but. You think you're running the show? Huh? He's coming in. Let me see. Black deck dealer. It's pretty good for a black deck dealer, I've got to say. Don't go having a bash. There you go. Nice he's out of range. He's in range, it looks no he's not. He's good. He's down. It's him. Forward. Still out of range, eh? Oh! The other one with the uh, tiny little pea shooter. If I can get over there. Don't go get. Oh no, that's Blackjack deal. Not that one. You're under arrest. Oh, Marshall's coming in. Friendly turn. Fight near the tables. I think I'll do good with it. On 95%? That's lousy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really shouldn't have come in here, mate. This go bot did everything from to persuade you. And I still come in like an idiot, didn't I?
There we go. Right then. You attributes. Let's go first. Got your skills there. Lock pick. That's your your big thing. Attributes. And perks. Bonus common damage. You lose shit. Get all spot you got. You're two levels of animal whisperer. Give me a level of mechanics. Uh, in intellect now. Perfect. Weapon modding. A shot opportunist. That's four AP, but mind you, it's only three to begin with. So, fires a shotgun shell that inflicts bleeding on any one hit. Take that. We can go to the back rooms. You stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? Oh my god, tell me everything. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, Big Red, it for you. Down and have the longest toes. Wanna see? That club pit boss door back here. Uncle, full chair. Yeah, we're not going to use that. Got something here. Machine turret, quick slot item. Boys are a box machine turret, that's nice. Bunch of stuff there. Don't have enough for that though. What's computer here? Don't have computer hacking. This clean cut marshal looks like he's in his mid thirties. His honest open face gives him the appearance of a man in the prime of his life. Are you the Rangers? I'm Delgado, one of Daisy's marshals. I figured anyone coming for me would have to shoot their way in. Wow. How'd you get past Drago's crew? Found out that McTavish was working with the Dorses. We got a deal with Brago. McTavish? That son of a bitch. Good. Good for you. I had a feeling it was one of Brigo's people. How do you get captured? I've been keeping an eye on Brigo for a while. He's a survivor. Likes to play both sides to make sure he always wins. After the Dorsey raid, I started asking questions about the club. Well, I guess I got too close to the truth. They grabbed me. 
Dragged me in here, locked the door, took my weapon and everything. Good thing you came along. Did they hurt you? No, they know better than to hurt a marshal. Though, after all this, I'm starting to think maybe I should have known better. Mm. Don't tell my wife I said that. How'd you know we were? Daisy told all the marshals you'd be coming to town. She passed along a few stories. What you did in Arizona, what happened out in Los Angeles, how you nuked your citadel to kill that crazy AI. She painted one hell of a picture. I like you better in person. Yeah. All right, head for the door when you're ready. Right. Thanks again. Boy, gotta figure out how I'm going to tell my wife about this. Now in there. Looks like the room's kind of clear. We know. Hey, we've got, we got a medical box over there. Hey, hands off the merchandise. Hey, I just saved your asses. What are you talking about? What's in here? Got a locker. Hey, what's the matter? You want to join the outfit, but you ain't got the lingo? Well, congrats, jabroni, because you come to the right tape. The gangster's got the diction, got everything you need to know. It don't <laughs> matter if you're a bag man or a button man. We'll have you talking like a maid man in no time. So grab a cannoli and pull up a chair. And let's get you mobbed up. Come on, pulling the leg. Right then. Looks like we're heading out. And that, my friends. The Yorkie Cameron's taking his leave for today. I love dancing in this place. I'll see you next time. See you then on. <laughs>